So this is going to be um, coffee and a chat, I guess. I want to do like a weekly segment where once a week I sit down and get ready for my day. My cat is being a pain in the butt. Um, where I just sit down for a little while and do my makeup and my hair and drink my coffee and kind of talk to you guys whether it's about a new product or um, I just want to talk to you about ideas or whatever. But once a week um, I'm going to do this segment so it'll be on Wednesdays. So um, this is a coffee and a chat. Today, I am um, drinking Donut Shop, and it's like an international delight creamer. It's non-dairy, so I can just keep it next to my Keurig, um, but <clears throat> this is Donut Shop, I think from Green Mountain. It's really good. It's one of my favorites, and um, international delight creamer. It's like vanilla ice cream or something like that. It's quite nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, first order of business, I guess, first thing I want to chat about is I cut my hair. <laughs> um, it's not really doing anything yet. I only brushed it. I didn't style it or anything today. Um, so, I washed it last night and slept on it, and this is what it looks like. I really like it. I just needed a change and um, cutting my hair. Sorry, okay. my iPad fell out. Um, but yeah, I just needed a change. I don't really want to color my hair anymore. I'm trying to grow out my hair and just kind of see what my natural color looks like. I'm pretty sure I don't like it already. I can tell. Um, but I don't know. And I needed to get the ends cut off because they were crunchy, so I decided to just go ahead and give myself a good cut. Um, it was the beginning of the year, and I just think, you know what, let's start off the year with a fresh cut. And it makes my color look like a whole new color, too, because all the stuff that was, like, from here down was super faded. Um... So this just kind of makes it look like an all new color without dyeing it. So two wins there. Um, so yeah, I guess like what do you guys think? Um, if anybody has like styling tips for hair this length and cut, it's just um, kind of I wanted like a piecier cut. So she put some layers in and... Um, to my face a little bit so I really like it a lot but if anybody has any suggestions or style ideas on how I should style my hair um, let me know because you know I really like it though it feels really healthy and it just looks healthy and I think it'll be a lot less maintenance and it makes me feel sassy yeah, I'm going to just start off with my BB cream. Today is just lazy makeup day, so not a whole lot to it. Um, but yeah, this is my Lumi BB cream. I love this BB cream. I use it in tons of videos and I think it's in a couple favorites and hauls and things. <clears throat> so, definitely give this one a shot. It's a very nice one. 
So I just use a wedge to apply it. I've already used this one, that's why it's dirty, but I used them a couple times. And then pitch them. It looks a little like not like it doesn't match when you first apply it, but I don't know. As you blend it out, it does. This is light, by the way. And it is illuminating, so it does make you look a little greasy, I guess. But I use a powder, and so it makes it better. And then I like the illuminating aspect of it as it shines underneath the powder, like through. It gives that just youthful effect. <laughs> So for concealer today, I'm going to use the CoverGirl and Olay CC Cream, or CC Concealer, I mean. Just pump it onto my finger, about that much. Very small amount, because a little goes a long way. That'll be enough for both eyes, actually. Just dab it underneath, and then I just use a different finger to blend it out. I really do like this um, under eye concealer. It works very nice. I will say um, on days that I'm a little more tired, it's not enough. Uh, it's not a whole lot of coverage. That's something to keep in mind. But on days that I've had enough sleep and my bags aren't so bad, it's just enough coverage. What is going on with that hair? Um, see, it just blends out very nice. I really like it. Alright, so then for setting powder, I am just going to use my big fluffy brush that my sister got it for me. I don't know the brand. She got it from Walgreens. That's where she works. So it's probably Walgreens brand, like whatever their beauty brand is. I like it, so I use it. Um, and this is just the e.l.f. It's dirty, <laughs> but it's the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and I'm just going to use that to set. Oh, and if you wanted, I guess, like, now would be the time you would conceal any imperfections. But like I said, today is a low maintenance day. I'm not doing any of that. <sighs> Down the middle across the forehead, a little bit on the chin, and then just whatever's left on the brush goes all over the face, I guess. So yeah, you can see that it has, um, I have a pimple there, that's cool. <laughs> You can see that it has like a glowy effect even if I use a powder on it. So uh, that's really nice because you still get that glowy effect without yeah. looking greasy. All right, so then we're gonna just warm up the face with a little bit of bronzer. All right, so we're gonna use a little bronzer to warm up the face. I just like this e.l.f. Um, contouring blush and bronzer. Thing. I don't know why that's on there. It's been on there for a really long time. <laughs> um, but, yeah. This is what it looks like. Apparently, this is a dupe for um, NARS Orgasm, I think. That's what I heard. I don't know because I never tried it. But, just using like a dense bronzer brush. And it's just to kind of warm up the face a little bit and to contour. And then I just use this to help blend out any harsh lines. Just like that. And then just a little bit here to help camouflage anything. And then um, I'm going to switch brushes and use a elf blush brush and a little bit of blush 
Um, and I'm going to do from the apples up. And then again, just to blend everything flawlessly. This is actually becoming a little more than load maintenance, but whatever. <laughs> um, I like a little extra illumination here. Alright, so then for eyes, um, I'm going to use my Sephora Moon Shadow Baked Palette. I love this palette. I got it from Sephora a few years ago, but I really love it. And they are all shimmer. So if you don't like shimmer, this is not the palette for you. But I really like it. It's the one with like the gold lace because they come out with um I have a couple different ones. So yeah. Alright, so from that I'll just put the um shadow names on the screen because it's just easier. Um but I'm gonna use the one here in the middle all over my lid and a flat shader brush this is an elf brush it came from the Ariel palette but I really like the brush okay so um, we're just gonna deepen our lid a little bit just to add a little dimension so I'm gonna use this like taupey I think <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna use that color just in the outer corner like so and this is a up and up uh target brand brush so just like that and then I'm going to add some liner, uh, mega liner from Wet n Wild in black. Alright, so I just added my liner. Um, I'm not a pro at it. <laughs> not at all. Um, and then I'm just going to use my Holy Grail Mascara. I got a sample in an Ipsy bag and fell in love with it and actually went out and purchased the full size. I think that was the first time that I actually went out and bought like a high-end mascara and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And add my liner on the bottom. Like, can you just see how easy the lashes are? <sighs> they really are, though. I'm telling you, this is the best mascara ever. Did I even tell you what it's called? It's Urban Decay Perversion. It's so amazing. Okay, so I'm going to add my liner. And I don't really like it on my whole eye. I feel like it makes my eye look smaller. So I only... Yeah. Do part of the eye. And I kind of... Smudge it a little bit. Alright. So that's it pretty much for makeup. I just need to add some lips and I think for that I'm going to do here. Yes. Right. I got this in an MC bag. Also, this is the NYX Butter Lip Balm. I'll put the shade on the screen or whatever, but it's just a pink one. doesn't add a whole lot of color not really what I wanted anyways I just wanted a little moisture so 
this is like my finished um makeup look I guess I don't know um on a low maintenance day I don't know I mean I like makeup so I wear a lot of it even if it's a low maintenance day um but yeah so I guess I'm not sure I don't know but it wasn't really too much chit chat I guess sorry guys um but yeah just a pretty casual video I think I don't know um, what else to say I was going to do my hair but mm, I don't know if I feel like it <laughs> alright maybe I will maybe I'll do that as a separate video though I don't know I don't feel like doing it I'm not doing it today this is this is what it is so um yeah, this is the look I created for today. Pretty easy and just like pretty much my typical everyday look. Um, I really like it. I don't know. My coffee is delicious. <laughs> Love my hair. I hope you guys do too. And like I said, if you guys have any like styling tips or um, what is this wonky light on my face? Um, if you have any styling tips or hairstyles or anything you think I should try out, then also give me suggestions um if you make youtube videos and you like made one about something similar to this hairstyle or styles with this cut or something let me know so i know to go check it out because videos are always helpful um, and stuff i just keep saying um new year's resolutions does anybody have any because i have a few so I'm going to work on those. One of them is not to say like as much as I did um, when telling a story like this happened and then like this happened and then like this person did like this and like yeah like that. So I don't want to use like as much and I wanted to be healthier. Not necessarily... Uh, I mean, I would like to lose weight, but I feel like if I'm just healthier all around, I will do that. So I'm not setting a resolution to lose weight. It is to be healthier. And by that, I mean eat healthier, exercise, and just be more active. So, yeah. Also, um, hang out with my girlfriends more because I don't really do that a whole lot. Um, I have like more girlfriends than I used to have and so I need to hang out with them more and just you know do more my goal for this year is just to do more um that means so many things hanging you know with friends being active um with my life just doing more and making life better. So that is my resolutions for 2015. Do you guys have any? Um, because I'd like to know. I think that's interesting. Like what, what goals do people set for themselves for the year? So let me know that. Um, I really do just love my hair. It's I just got it done on Monday. Today is Wednesday. So I am like not quite over my infatuation with it. I so love it. I guess that's <laughs> it, guys. I've been rambling this video since it's almost a half hour with editing and stuff. I know it won't be that long, but it'll still be long enough. So I'm going to go. There will always be a coffee and chat video on Wednesdays. I want to do like a little series and um my, oh yeah another resolution is I want to post weekly so I'm going to do that I told you guys I'm going to do that so, and I am um, doing that yeah leave video suggestions below and give this video a thumbs up if you like the idea of it and you're excited for more and oh I just got the Keurig for Christmas so if you have any K-cup suggestions Leave those below. I like a medium roast coffee, so keep that in mind. Nothing too bold. And yeah, um, I do drink tea, so if you have any suggestions for those, leave them below for the curing thing. Um, 
so yeah I'm gonna go and until my next video stay beautiful and stay safe bye dolls